Oh, I hit the go live button and my computer froze. Oh, that was scary. That was so scary. Guys, I have so many Photoshop things open. If my computer crashes, that's why. This could be a lot tonight. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. Uh, how many tabs? Do you want me to tell you? I don't want to spoil you. I don't want you guys to count it. I don't want people to count it. A bunch. No spoils. Yeah. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Bring this up. I manually set my cam every time I stream. Just so you know how appreciative you guys should be. Love the vids. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Hi, everybody. First time catching a stream. Really? That's like the fourth or fifth person. Hi, everybody. Look at all the first time chatters. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Oh, my goodness. I'm feeling all warm and gushy. I better not be getting baited. You're not. You are not. Tonight's the night. I'm t I, finally. Tonight's the night. I'm not kidding. I've been waiting to tell this story for literally years. It's not a bait. I, you always bait us. I swear to God, tonight's not a bait. I'm going to make a tweet because I feel like this story, you guys are here at the right time. This story loses so much oomph if you get here late. You have to be in from the start, okay? This is the first time I'm hearing of this story. I have, so I've done story, hold on, let me make the tweet. Okay, I made the tweet, boosted. Uh, so I've been wanting to tell this story forever. I've done story time streams, but I think the last time I did one was actually a year ago. The last time I did a story time stream, I think was a year ago, right? Will it be a Twitch exclusive? Are you going to leave if I say yes? <laughs> or if I say no? If I say it's going to be on YouTube, are you going to you gonna leave? Like, Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been so long for the story. It's nuts. I'm not subula. I'm not sub... No, not tonight. Come on. Guys, I gave you a subula last time. Relax. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Um, honestly, dude, I've been wanting to tell this story for literally six or seven years. Um, so I'm going to let this one breathe. I'm going to let this one breathe. <laughs> I'm going to talk with you guys. We're going to just chat. And then after the story, I don't even know if we do anything else. I might go offline. I do have a bounty to pop. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. The issue is, what do I do with... Uh... Didn't you say on Twitter it'll take three hours? I don't think it'll actually take three hours. I don't think it'll actually be that long. But every time I try to tell a simple story, like, I'll do short story times, I think, and I'll build them out, and then it takes me an hour, an hour, and a half. This one is not simple. This is a big one. So hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are having a fine Tuesday. You all came to the stream on Come Tuesday. Thank you. Glad you all found your way here. I don't know what I'm going to do with uh, ads because ads are going to pop. And I don't know how to fix those. If ads pop, I might just have to, like, pause. <laughs> I don't want people who are not subbed to, to miss it. You know, you need it. You need the context, you know. There's one way to fix it. There's one way. 
if you do want to subscribe or with Twitch Prime, it's free. I mean, I have the the ads like here now, so it says that we get ads in six minutes. So I'm gonna try to space them out, and I can snooze, but we'll see. Has it started yet? Not yet. Not yet. The here's the thing: I do want to wait a little bit because this story I've been waiting for. <laughs> Somebody tweeted, this is like the Super Bowl for terminally online Smash adjacent people. I can't believe that so many people know this story. I'm shocked that so many people know this just by name. That's unbelievable. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm like blushing. I can't believe this. That's that's so I'm I'm, I'm blushing. That's crazy. Yeah, we got, we, but we do have to wait a bit. We do have to wait a bit because uh, I, I really don't want to start this until more people are here. I worry. I hope I didn't hype it up too much. The story is objectively fucking insane. But, you know, I, I, maybe people have different, you know, whatever. Oh, my God. Thank you for the 10 gifties, Star Force. Thank you. Look at the gifties. Thank you. Has it started already? Not yet. Do questions during ads? Maybe I open up the floor to questions. Hold on. <laughs> this is what I'll do. This is hold on. All right. So during ads, <laughs> during ads, I will open up the floor to questions from the chat. This better not be a fake okay. ping. Oh, son of a bitch. While we wait, mayhaps we check on our favorite Metacritic reviewer. Stupid. Maybe, hold on. Dude, I hate fake PNGs so much. They get me every time. I feel so stupid. I wish there's like a, I need a press conference PNG with like people, you know. All right. Oh, here we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Stream wizard at work. Alakazam. Hold on. Watch this. Prestigious. Chromakio. Got him. <laughs> yep, there it is. Okay. During ad breaks, I will be answering any and all questions. Okay? Because I don't want people to miss anything. That looks so bad. Shut up. It's good, though. <laughs> it's actually good. You just don't work in production. It looks good. See, that guy works in production. That guy knows. Thank you, Grizzle the Magi. Somebody asked where this hat is, or, or this hat is from, and I'm not. I'm not just saying that. Somebody did ask that. Uh, you can't get them anymore. Sorry. Should have bought it when it was available. Dumbass. Be online more. You silly goose. Which mic is your favorite? I think, I think the one right here, it looks silly. It's cute. But I'm also a fan of the, these, like the old-timey radio mics, you know what I mean? Banana mic? Where's the banana mic? <laughs> is it like a banana phone? This is the one I have right here. This is literally what I have. I got a sweatshirt. My head is too big for most hats. Should have tried at least. Hats are one size fits all. Check him skull. How long will this story be? I don't know. I'm not giving you an answer. Uh, basically, yeah! here's the thing. I, oh, thank you for reminding me. I gotta turn these off. And then you think I'm stupid. You wanna leave the cage up on this day? I love the great idea. You made it the story till I become this day. You're gonna have nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. My boy has just begun. 
I've been waiting to tell this story for years, so I am not going to limit myself. Uh, I am not going to try to force it out quickly. Here we go! It's gonna be fat. It, it's gonna. It's gonna. You can drag the image on Google Images to see if the background is a real panel or a fake one, like the one you have right now. No, this is a real one, though. Thank you. I feel like this somehow involves EE. Let's make this clear. None of this has anything to do with Smash. There is one video game. Two video games. There are two video games. None of this has anything to do with Smash. I'm leaving now. Then get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'll help you on the way out. Mods! <laughs> This is not a video game story. This is a- Oh, ads are I think about to pop. Ads should pop now. If you get ads, I'll see you on the other side. Not gonna do well on YouTube? I don't care. I don't care how well it does. There are two points where video games come up. We'll just clickbait those. Where is this music from? Diddy Kong Racing. I'm, like I said, I'm stalling for a little bit because I do think that this story, you need to be here for the whole thing to get the full experience. This story has so many layers and details and one-off bits that I'm worried I'm not going to tell it correctly. So I need you, please understand if I'm a little more careful. I want to make sure the whole story is told. You get what I'm saying? There are so many pieces to this. Yeah, you guys are getting ads now. Yeah, your ads. It's fine. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. This is why I stalled. It's fine. This is why we're stalling. Wait, did I say it didn't have anything to do with Smash and I dropped 500? Oh wait, no, that's probably the ads. <laughs> or or it's or it's or it's Smash. Either way. It went from 21 to 17. Man. Never show up to streams with 5,000 is a lot of dollars. Swear to God, it's not a bait. This is a story about a $5,000 booty call. I know it seems like I bait a lot. I know it seems like I try to get people in. I swear to God, this is true. Everything that happened tonight happened. People think there's drama. <laughs> Well, there was drama in my young life. There has been much drama. There has been quite a lot of drama. Young. I mean, when I was young. This story takes place a long time ago. After the booty call incident, what else will need to be told? I don't know if I have any more stories that are good. I could make stuff up and probably embellish and lie. But, you know... Verizon posting. Wait, are you guys getting the Cecily Strong one with Scrooge? <laughs> My wife and I were watching TV yesterday and she was like, ooh, a free tablet <laughs> and an Apple Watch. I was like, honey, come on. Raid Shadow Legends, don't joke. They're sponsoring the YouTube in December. I'm not joking them and bespoke post <laughs> you ever see those guys they make manly boxes with knives and camping shit you guys ever see that thanks to bespoke post for sponsoring the Kona YouTube honestly the shit they have is kind of cool I'm not kidding I got a couple knives I wanted uh, I got some uh, I got some uh, sneaker not sneaker slippers they got some cool stuff Is League of Legends involved at all? Go ahead and take a poll. I, 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 should I spoil this? I feel like I should spoil this. Thank you, Ko. No? All right, I'll leave it open. I'll leave it open. Ads done? All right. What are we at, 15 minutes? I said I would start in 15, 20. Let's, let's go for five more minutes. We'll wait for 20. I won't spoil it. Can I spoil it once the predictions are done? I don't want to go the whole story.
Oh my god, thank you, Shattuck, for the five gifties. Thank you. Very tasty. Appreciate it. Yeah, I saw some people say that I was getting the ads that don't disrupt the stream. Like, they go at the bottom of the stream or whatever. That's nice. I don't know if I'm getting good ones now. Thank you, Grizzle. Oh, my God. You guys are being so so generous tonight. This is crazy. Dude, I got so fucking mad today. So I have a little bit of Bitcoin. A bit penny. I have a bit penny, okay? Because back at the Smashboard boot camp, I that was during the whole like Bitcoin blow up, right? And I put in three hundred dollars just to do it, and I made back six hundred. And then I took back the six hundred and I left in the three hundred. And it it has gone up and it has gone down, and now it's down to like a hundred dollars. But today on my and I've been just waiting to pull it out. I don't know when. I'm just gonna. Maybe the singularity comes and, and robots take over money. So it's sitting in there. And today I got a push notification saying Bitcoin soars 10,000%. What? Oh my God. Yeah, please. And I log in and I made like $15. <laughs> hey, you motherfucker, what are you doing? Jarvis, thank you for the five gifties. Jarvis, dude, I hold on. Did you guys see this picture? Hold on. I this is unbelievable. I will say, Jarvis, my story tonight should it, it it is telling stories and it will change some lives. I think. Look at this lucky motherfucker. Look at this guy. What did you do to deserve meeting him that I didn't do? What have you done for your life to go so well, huh? God's favorite content creator. Unbelievable. What do you mean who? That's Darman. The storyteller of a generation. Unbelievable. That's the Darman. Jarvis, are you still here? Does he talk like that in real life? No way, right? What are you going to do if you get rated mid-story? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I never thought of that. Oh, that's tough. I don't know. <laughs> he does? He talks like that for life? Wow, Jarvis, it's great to finally meet you. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Thank you so much for meeting me here today. <laughs> I fucking love him. I love him so much. He talks in bullet points. <laughs> if I get raided, I don't know what I'm going to do. This story is... It will work at any point, but it works especially well if you start. Okay? All right. <sighs> okay. Cody spends $5,000 on a booty call. Instantly regrets it. You can spoil now. The video is not... This story has nothing to do with League of Legends. At all. At all. This story is one of young love. I didn't start playing League of Legends until I was 21. Ruined my life. Played it for 10 years. I'm clean now. Thank God. I don't know why you thought it was League of Legends. This is a story of young love. First love, actually. High school romance that turned into adult romance... That went sour. You'll see. Okay. All right. Uh, next ad's in 36 minutes, so we might as well get started. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. So this is like cringe confessional for you? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. It's a couple stories. Okay. <laughs> Fellas. Tonight is the night. I've done a lot of story times in my time as a content creator. Um, I've done stuff about my past as a competitive video game player. I've done stuff about my past as an esports host, consultant, all that stuff. 
Um, but I've never really let you guys in on my personal life, on what has happened to me, Zach, the guy under the Coney hat, okay? There has been a story that I have been wanting to tell to my stream for probably like six, seven years. And it's come out in bits and pieces and parts, but it's never quite come out all at once. Never felt like the right time. Well, I am, uh, I am both pleased and dismayed to announce that uh, <laughs> tonight is the night. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the story of the $5,000 booty call. Now, if you're here for the first time, these story times are usually pretty short. It's usually like an hour, um, maybe that, usually less. Uh, this one, I have no idea how long this is going to be. I'm going to let it breathe. I'm going to keep talking. If ads pop in the middle of the story, I will wait because I can only snooze it three times. Ads will be up in 35 minutes. I'll snooze as much as I can. But during the ad breaks, I will be taking all questions from the press. So be ready for that, okay? <sighs> Man. There are so many pieces to this that I've set up that I hope I do right. Because I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Let us begin. We start with a prologue. This is a story of young love, first love, and an e-romance, okay? I was 15 years old when this started, okay? Very young, okay? I, our story begins, as many stories often do, on AOL Instant Messenger. The year is 2003, I think? Yeah, 2003, something like that, okay? And I am a young, sprightly 15-year-old, uh, okay? Inhabiting online spaces. I don't remember exactly where I was at the time. I genuinely think it might have been a, uh, like, a, a Pokemon fan chat. Like a chat room for Pokemon fans. I was a big fan of Gen 1. A lot of you guys weren't even bored yet. Which is harrowing. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to add something. <laughs> Let me go back. See, I already messed up. Uh. Where did I put it? Oh, wait. It's here. Okay. Cut it. Go back. A quick disclaimer before we get started. Editor, just do a cut. I knew I was going to miss something. The events herein are harrowingly true. Names have been changed to protect the innocent. But all of these things happened a very long time ago between two people at a very confusing time in their lives, okay? There are no hard feelings. Do not use this as an excuse to harass or demean or be weird. Just please don't be weird, okay? It's messy. I Listen, I think it's fine. You just know with the internet. The internet can be kind of strange, right? I'm just telling you don't do anything on my behalf. That would be a weird thing to do, okay? <laughs> you might be outraged. You, you're you going to have two emotions during this. You're either going to be outraged or Omega lulling. Uh, either way, just don't be weird about it, okay? The prologue. So I'm on AOL Instant Messenger, and I'm in a couple chat rooms, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm meeting some friends and talking about Pokemon, some of the stuff that I'm interested in. And I come across... A young lady who's known as, we'll call her Pam. Pam this evening is being played by Oscar award winning actress Natalie Portman. <laughs> Hello, Miss Portman. This is Pam. And Pam and I start, you know, a friendship. We both like Pokemon. Our favorite Pokemon, I think, at the time was Eevee, right? Uh, we both liked Misty the best out of all the gym leaders. We had, a lot of, we had a lot in common. And so we started sending messages back and forth. Do you like Pikachu? Oh my god! Yes, I do! Clown face emoji. We had to get, get kind of creative back then. <laughs> That's a clown, by the way. You can tell by the hat and the little pomp on top. Awesome. 
Got a little bold with that heart, but you know, gotta seal the deal sometimes. Just normal, innocent 15-year-old conversation, right? We're just hanging out and talking. It's an online space. This is not before you had any reason to doubt people who they were, who they say they are on the internet, but it was before there were a lot of high-profile cases. And I, I think, in, in hindsight, I'm very lucky that Pam did end up being Pam, okay? <laughs> The, the, the way this story ends is not, like, it's not that she wasn't Pam. She was Pam, okay? But anyway, we start, we talk, okay? And we start talking for a while, and we, we, we bond together over the course of months, even a year. I can't remember how long it was, but we've been talking for a very long time. And so we thought, it'd be kind of cool to meet each other. Only one problem. This is the East Coast of the United States, for all my Euro friends. I live here, okay? This is Maryland, capital of this of the of the US. You can see right there on that dot. I'm roughly here, okay? Pam lives in Massachusetts. All the way up there. Doesn't look that far, right? But it's about a seven hour drive. Takes a while, six and a half. It's 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 further than you might think. From and this is from Boston to Baltimore, okay? Well, it might be uh, to uh, make, you know, cut an hour or so, right? But we talk a bunch, and eventually, after talking for a really long time, she comes up with an idea. Hey, my friend just got her license. Her friend is named Tiffany, being played tonight by sensational funny woman Melissa McCarthy. I don't like Tiffany. Tiffany, though, does have a driver's license. And Pam and Tiffany decide they're gonna hop in a car and come all the way down to Maryland to meet me. They come all the way down to Maryland. Nothing goes wrong, okay? I meet them. I meet Tiffany. She's she's kind of annoying, but whatever. She, I don't I didn't expect to meet her. And I meet Pam. And me and Pam hit it off immediately. Which normally, that, that doesn't always happen with people online, right? Even in this age here. Me and Pam meet each other. We do all kinds of stuff. We hang out. We talk. We play Mario Kart together. We go to the mall together. Tiffany was there too, somewhere. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. We have a great time. We're really enjoying each other's company. But... That mall is sick. This is Arundel Mills Mall in Maryland. This still exists. They got rid of the snail, though. <laughs> this is a very old mall. I don't think that exists anymore. But we're great friends, you know? And we, we get along right away. Now, there was one small incident involving uh, Hulk hands. For you see, when we were at the mall, I found these electronic Hulk hands at KB Toys. I'm 15 years old. These are the funniest fucking things I have ever seen. I, uh, something about them on your fists, making noise when you punch, I thought they were so fucking funny. Pam does not. Are you really gonna buy those? Hell yeah, I am. That shit's funny. Keep in mind, I wasn't a streamer back then. There was no reason for me to buy the Hulk hands. It's not like there was a bit. I don't know if you should be buying Hulk hands. I don't think you make enough money for that. <sighs> kind of a red flag, right? Kind of uh, killing my dreams here, but the rest of everything went well. But I want you to keep this interaction in mind as the, uh, the events continue to transpire, okay? A bit of foreshadowing, you might say. I was 15 year old, years old. I wasn't exactly, you know, uh, pulling ducats. <laughs> That's not a phrase. I wasn't exactly bawling out. You'll find out what I did in just a little bit. But, I, you know, I, I was, I, I had my first taste of disposable income, and I was eager to use it. I think she was just mad that I didn't buy her something. <laughs> women, am I right? <laughs> 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 
please don't take that seriously. You got I don't want you to, like you guys might be misogynists at the end of the story. I don't mean that. <laughs> I'm not trying to like build this up. I please don't take that seriously. I'm 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 genuinely worried people might be misogynists at the end of the story. I'm not kidding. Let's continue. <laughs> I'm already misogynistic. Oh, okay, that's trap in. Topsy, baby. Okay. So anyway, we meet. It's all great. There's this weird interaction about whole cans. I don't make enough money for them. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. But after we hang out for like three or four days, um, unfortunately, the time has come to an end. It is the summer. She's got to go home. And now it's time for her and Tiffany to get in a car and leave. It was a very emotional uh, departure, by the way. We all cried. Not Tiffany. She was a bitch. But we all cried. I shouldn't be this mean to Tiffany. She was fine. She was fine. She had a big crush on my friend who we hung out with a lot there. My crush was... Not, my friend was not into her. But anyway, they all leave, and I'm heartbroken. All the way back up to Massachusetts. I am so heartbroken, in fact, and I swear to God this is true. My mom, played here by the inimitable Kathy Bates literally gets in her car and the day after they drive back to Massachusetts she drives me up there so we could spend more time together could not believe it by the way that is a blue car I couldn't figure out how to make it blue <laughs> I, <laughs> I, uh, I was I was having some trouble I had to put on like an adjustment layer and it didn't work <laughs> So that's a, that's a blue car. <laughs> Best I could do. What year was this? I don't know. 2003, 2004, or something like that. She prints it out on MapQuest. My mom loves driving. And I don't remember if she drove back down or if she stayed there for five days or whatever. But whatever, I went to Massachusetts. Swear to God, this is true. We spent more time together that week, and then I went back home. This was just the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Act 1. The Winds of Change. Now, after I got home, uh, we kept talking, right? For, I don't know, six months, maybe a year. Kind of a long time, okay? Now... We have both changed quite a bit. You know, you're at that stage where you're you're kind of growing as a person rapidly. And uh, I was kind of still the same as I've always been. <laughs> I stopped maturing at 14 or so, you know. Which is why I wanted the Hulk hands. I would buy those tomorrow. So, we keep talking. How's school going? Fine. Awesome. I didn't know any better. I didn't know women could, like, be mad at you without saying it. This is my first, like, relationship, you know? <laughs> I didn't I didn't know. Um, I even dropped a little cool smiley to let her know that, like, hey, we're all good here. Um, but things were kind of icy and a little tense, okay? Um, I don't know what exactly was going on. I think it's just people change. And if you're not around, you don't get to see it, you know? So, is it because of the Hulk hands? For all I know, maybe. Maybe the Hulk hands set off a chain of events that stopped us from getting married. I don't know. That was the final straw. She was jealous. Maybe. I don't know. In any case, by the way, uh, I know this, this, this name seems like it's a joke. I'm, that was literally not that far away from my first AOL name. I don't remember what it was. I think it had to do with Razor Ramon. <laughs> I, I, I'm not kidding. I, I don't remember exactly what it was. But that's real. NWO for life. <laughs> Too sweet me, bro. Too sweet me. Too sweet me, bro. <laughs> sweet! 
Not a joke, by the way. In 2003? No, 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 no. Scott Hall fam was like back in like 97 when I first got on the internet when I was nine. <laughs> but you know, it wasn't that different. Okay, regardless. We start, we kept talking and things were a little bit icier, a little bit colder. She was just kind of, I don't know, distant. She just seemed kind of mean. But I was too dumb to know what that was. For you see, I was working. I was trying to get the funds together so I could go visit her again. This meant a lot to me. I wanted to go see her. I worked at an ice cream parlor. Now, I'm not going to tell you what ice cream parlor it was, but I will tell you when they when you give them a tip, they sing for you. I don't know if they still do that, <laughs> but we had to do it. Do they still do that, by the way? They do? That's humiliating. I don't carry cash. So I've never tipped them. <laughs> they still do. Scoopy, scoopy, scoop. We scoop for you. We hope you like our ice cream. When you tip our jar, we get gas for our car. We'll see you all tomorrow. Still got it. By the way... The, the implication that they're coming back tomorrow uh, implies <laughs> something's very unwell with these people. Every day. I was 14 when I started this job, which is illegal, by the way. I don't think you're allowed to do that. It was the first cold... It was the first <laughs> type of that ice cream. I don't know why I'm hiding it. It was the first cold stone in Maryland. Okay? The first one ever. <laughs> cold. <laughs> it was the first cold stone in Maryland. And I worked there at 14. Um, cause I wanted a job. I, I wanted a way to make some, make a little bit of cash, you know? Cash is important. Go ahead and drop those prime subs now. I haven't said it all night. Go ahead and drop that prime, please. I know you got one. Now, I had to work pretty hard. In case you guys don't know, the minimum wage is a son of a bitch. It's been that way for quite a bit. But back in 2004, which I think is when this happened, it was dire. $5.15 in the state of Maryland. I did get tips, but not that much. Yeah, that's fucked. Oh, yes. Now, yeah, keep in mind inflation, blah, 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 you know, uh, whatever. But it was still uh, horrifying. $5.15. Now, the average train ticket to get from... Baltimore to Boston, so I could be reunited with Pam, was between $134 and $259. Do not believe the Amtrak ticket $35. It was in between those two. Now, I don't think that was a one-way trip. I do think it was probably like $240 for a, for a round trip, I think, but that was back in 2004. Uh, in case you're wondering how many hours that is, don't worry, I did the math. It's about 26 hours of work. That's more than a day of labor. That's th over three eight-hour shifts at Cold Stone Creamery. I was, uh, I was miserable, okay? But it all would have been worth it to be reunited, you know? I, I really liked Sam. She was... She was like, uh, Pam. Pam was my first love. <laughs> she was my first love. It was great. No, 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 no. It's not, no, I said Sam because of earlier with the thing. It's not, no, it's Pam. It's Pam. No, 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 no. I really liked Pam a lot. I said it because of Cold Stone with the S. I really liked Pam a lot. Pam was amazing, okay? Okay. <laughs> Pam was fantastic. And we got along so well that we wanted to keep talking. Okay? Don't say I'm blushing. Shut up. That'll get cut on YouTube. That's Twitch exclusive. There you go, everybody. <laughs> let's all let's all just get the chat out of the way. This is why it's good to be here. Pam and I had to get back together, okay? <laughs> Pam and I had to get back together, so I was working very hard. Eventually, I worked 26 hours times two, because it was round trip, okay? 
Why did you choose such a similar name? I don't fucking know. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I hope I don't do any of the other ones. Tiffany was not the girl's name before. Phew. Okay. Uh, I worked the 26 hours for a one-way trip. Okay. And eventually, it's my time to take the train and head on up. <laughs> Hold on. I have a funnier bit. I was going to play this again. But I have I have something I hold on. <laughs> this is so stupid. It is finally my time to head on up to Boston to meet Pam once more. Here I come. Choo choo. I made it. Zero incident. No problem. I made it to the great state of Massachusetts, I think. I don't know what goes on in Massachusetts. I hear Boston is a shithole, but whatever. So I make it all the way up to Massachusetts, okay? And uh, Pam is there to meet me at the station, but she seems somewhat cold. Hey, how's it going? That was a really long trade ride. Okay. Uh, really good to see you. I be, I was hoping that we could have this meet up for a while. I was working really hard. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got I got some pretty bad vibes. Some strong leave me alone vibes. But hey, she wanted me to come up here. She never said that she didn't. Her and I were talking this whole time, and we were planning this out. We wanted to meet each other. So, or so I thought. So what do you want to do? I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm in a state I don't know. There's no one around here that I'm friends with. I'm, I'm, I'm in a, a, basically a foreign country. I don't know what happens in Massachusetts. I am, like, 600 miles from home, right? I have no idea what's happening. Um, all right. Well, how about we go to the mall? Fine. We get Pam's mom to take us to the mall. We hang out at the mall. I don't know where it is. Somewhere around Boston. It has, like, five floors. It's great. And we're hanging out there. And I'm trying to have fun. You know what I mean? I'm trying to have a good time. LMAO, look at those signs aren't those silly look at that toy hey remember the whole cans was that so funny yeah she's not into it el riz <laughs> i am floundering just was not working on me not hulk smash i'm not gonna smash anything It was, it was, it was, it was a scary position to be in, right? I had just spent $250, roughly, to take a train ticket up to see this girl, and she just was not into me at all. So, eventually, we keep walking around the mall. She keeps acting, like, really distant. She's, like, walking, like, five feet ahead of me at points, which is, like, man, what happened, right? Eventually, we end up going to dinner at a friendlies. There's a friendlies in the mall. By the way, who was it in chat that said friendlies? I saw somebody in chat say friendlies earlier. <laughs> I saw somebody say that. Congratulations. You got it. We go to eat at a friendlies, okay? And we're ordering. I'm making jokes about the face on the menu. Have you guys ever seen hold on. friendlies uh, clown face ice cream? You guys ever seen this? <laughs> What's this thing called? A cookie puss? What is it, a clown Sunday? Omega laugh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, it is like the clown emoticon. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so cute. This is the monster mesh. I'll make you jokes or whatever. Uh, and as I'm trying to, you know, I'm I'm working game, right? She reaches over across the table. She takes my hand. And she tells me, I think this is just going to be a friend's visit. Uh, 
dear viewer, I I I realized that I forgot to mention to you. Um I was set to be in Massachusetts for a week. This was a week long trip. And the first night of me being there, she told me it was a friend visit. I should have told that before. I'm sorry for neglecting that crucial piece of information. But I hope you understand my dismay at hearing these words come out of her mouth. She tells me it's a friend visit. I don't know what to do. I say, okay. And uh, I really don't want to be around her much anymore because I'm 16 years old. My heart is broken for the first time. And I am stifling back tears. I am not proud of saying this, but do you guys want to know the first thing that I did? I found the arcade and I played Pump It Up for three hours. Let me go ahead and give you the POV. POV, you just had your heart broken by the girl of your dreams at 16. You get it. You get it. My set was Psycho's Pose, Beethoven Virus, and Final Audition. Final Audition 2. Final Audition 2. I played a lot of Pump It Up. Anyway, it was really hard to play through the tears. I was legitimately sobbing. <laughs> it, was, uh, it, it was a traumatic experience. Um, by the way, this is before, like, cell phones. Like, I think we had flip phones or something. But eventually she comes to find me and she says, My mom's here. We're gonna go. <laughs> Chat, this is where things get even worse. If you think it's bad enough, it's not even close. For you see, we weren't just going back to their house. It wasn't her mom that came to pick us up. It was Tiffany. And we weren't going home. We were going to a house party. We went to a fucking house party in Massachusetts, a high school house party, 600 miles away from my home, where I know nobody there. Everyone is drinking. Some people are high as fuck. Some of you know I famously don't drink and I don't smoke. I just haven't done it. And I'm here at a party, just a fucking wallflower. The only person I know in the room is a girl th that I thought was the love of my life that just fucking rejected me at a friendlies. Now, it wasn't really like this. It was a little bit more like this. Um, you know, people are making out. Uh, there, there's uh, hot box rooms and beer pong and shit like that, right? It's pretty bad. I'm sitting on the couch petting the dog. I have nothing else that I can do, okay? I don't know any of these people. In case you guys don't know also, I am not an extrovert. You guys might think I am because I play one on the internet. I'm not. I am very introverted. I can be extroverted. I can be social. I am not somebody who gets energy from talking to people. I'm very much a hermit, okay? I'm very much a hermit. I'm just sociable, you know? I can talk with people. I'm not weird. I'm not antisocial. It's just, you're an ambivert. Nope, that's not it. Introvert and, uh, introvert and extrovert are referring to the way that you derive energy. So do you get energy from being with people or away from people? I wholly get energy alone. After a tournament, by the way, for like Smash or anything, I retreat to my basement for like four days. Summit is a nightmare for me. <laughs> I like everybody there, but I'm miserable by the end. 
I am a fucking hermit, okay? Ambivert means you can switch when you need to. Whatever, it's all pseudo-pop science anyway. You can read all about this in Cosmopolitan. I don't know what the fuck is real. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Regardless, I don't like hanging out with people. So I'm just sitting there, and there's a couple guys that are trying to be nice, right? They're like, hey, man, what's up? And I'm trying to talk to them. My heart's broken. I'm still kind of crying, you know? I, I, I just can't believe that I'm in this position. So I'm still really hurt. But uh, what else can you do? I'm at the party until, like, midnight or 1. Eventually, <laughs> uh, we, we get picked up. Or no, I, I'm sorry. Tiffany decides that she needs to leave. Tiffany drives us back to Pam's house. And I go to the basement and cry myself to sleep on the couch. This is one of the worst nights of my life. I will never forget this. I was in the basement crying my eyes out at what I thought was my soulmate. Now, this is why I said in the disclaimer, guys, don't direct it. This is so stupid, right? I was 16 years old. We weren't going to make it. But it's real back then, you know? You feel it. You think you're, it's going to be forever, right? And it hurt really bad. I was deciding what I should do for the next week while I was in Massachusetts. I, I, I couldn't stay there, right? She wasn't into me. I don't want to have a friend's visit. I'm staying with the one person I don't like. So, eventually, I wake up, and I'm like, hey, um, I'm just going to leave. And Pam's like, okay. So, the next day, I pay more money. Money I didn't have, by the way. I had, like, maybe $100 to my name. I pay an extra, like, $80 to get on the train and come back to Maryland a day after I went. Here I come. My mom picks me up from the train station. She's so sorry, you know. She knows it's young love. It's stupid. Nothing was ever going to come of it. But it really did hurt, you know. This was one of the hardest lessons I ever had to learn, you know, that some things aren't meant to work out, that young love doesn't last forever. First loves are always fleeting. And to be the one who got dumped hurts so bad. Um, it, it, it really broke me. I was so sad. But I eventually got over it. I said, you know what? She didn't live close to me. There are tons of girls here who I can see and date and love, right? People change. They get older and want different things. Um... You know, it's not really her fault. She wanted somebody that was close up there. or Maybe she felt like her attachment to me was holding her back. Like, she didn't want to tell me that she wanted to see another guy. But, you know, maybe this was her way of breaking it off. Whatever. I eventually came around to the realization. And as I went from 16 turning to 17, I was cool with it. You know what I mean? I was still sad, but I, it, this is something everybody goes through. Everybody goes through their first heartbreak, right? It's fine. And that was the end of that tale. Now, here, I would like to take a short intermission. An entracte, as they say in France. This is in between acts, okay? I would like to tell you about a truck, okay? My dad gave me a truck on my 17th Christmas. I was 17 years old, okay? And my dad wanted to give me his old truck. He fixed it up nice, tinted the windows, gave me lights. It's still one of my favorite cars I've ever owned. Seriously, making this got me so nostalgic. It is a 1994 Toyota pickup. I loved this car. I still do. I literally look at it with awe. I want to drive this today. This is beautiful to me. I love this. Um, I, I don't have the exact picture of it, but it did have this stripe. There are lights on top. My dad really tricked it out. Uh, it, it was, it, there's this picture and then this. It looked kind of like that. It was a stick shift, which I love. Driving manual. It's amazing. I love these a lot. These are amazing cars. 
and I was so thrilled to have one. Took it out, drove like a dream, okay? And it's a bit of an older car. It's like 2004, I think, 2005 is when all this happened. No, 2000, 2006? I think this was 2006. Um, was I 17 in 2006? Yes. Yeah, I think so. No, Christmas 2005. That's what it was. Sorry. I loved this truck. It was great. My dad got it for me, fixed it up all nice. The approximate value of this truck is $5,000. Act 2. Hell on Earth. And you know... Maybe I should take a break now. We got 13 minutes till ads. I wonder if I should pop it. You guys want to take a quick break? I don't want to. Pop it for the intermission? I don't want to take... Yeah, I I'm sorry. I have to. It's probably a better way to do it now. It's better to do it now, okay? If you think this story was already kind of not... It gets so much worse. Okay? <laughs> All right. Quick break. I'm going to pop a three-minute ad because this goes up at 13 minutes. I'm also going to pop a bounty, okay? Uh, you, got, you guys are going to miss the bounty. Boo-hoo. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right. I'll see you guys in three minutes. One sec. All right. Ads are running, I think. Yes, ads are running. All right. <laughs> Did I tell you guys what the bounty was? I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to like it because everybody loves Thursday Night Football. That's right. Thursday Night Football exclusively on Prime Video and Twitch. TNF is fun and innovative. A high-quality product with top talent across the broadcast. NFL experts who love the game but don't take it too seriously and provide unique experiences with weekly alternative broadcasts and x-ray replays on demand. Thursday Night Football exclusively on Prime Video and Twitch. Thursday Night Football is easy to access and use. Each week, there's a can't-miss matchup. Their broadcast is headlined with top talent with Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreit. Each week, there's a pre-game and post-game show. With an all broadcast for Spanish language, plus one or two more. I feel like they should be more descriptive. X-ray replays on demand feature. Oh, X-ray replays on demand feature and non-TNF featured Prime Video content. Check out Thursday Night Football only. Well, not only, but it, oh yeah, only exclusively on Prime Video and Twitch. Thanks. Okay. Appreciate you guys sticking around. Wait, did I do the quick... Oh, I did the full zoom. Shit. I was full zoomed? It's fine. That's fine. I think that's fine. <laughs> All the important bits were there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. We're good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, ads are still running for one minute. I can open up questions for the chat, I guess. <laughs> uh... Did you cry with the Hulk cans on? I, I think I threw them away. <laughs> I don't even know where the Hulk cans are. How old is Pam? Pam is uh like a couple months older than me. My age, but months older. Yeah. Did you guys meet any time before this friend trip and after the first trip? I think we did. I don't remember. I think we met for a little bit. How was Tiffany? Older. Was Tiffany really annoying? Oh, God. I, I thought she was, but I think she was doing, like, the friend thing where friends are like, I'm not good enough for Pam, you know what I mean? She was trying to protect her or whatever, but, yeah. Did you stay in contact after this whole story? You'll have to see. Did you think the mall was the only place to pl take a date? Literally, yes. I thought the mall was innovative because it wasn't a movie. <laughs> I got her, a, a like, a... I, I, by the way, this is going to sound like, you know, she was so mean to me, whatever. 
I wasn't a, a great boyfriend. I got her a Polly Pocket set because I didn't know what to get her once for her birthday. And my little sister was into Polly Pocket, and I didn't want to spend any money. So I got her, I gave her the Polly Pocket set that my sister didn't want. Yeah, listen, I thought that she would be like, oh, this is a fun little thing to put on my desk, you know? Always think about me. I thought it was a fun little, you know, I thought, I thought it was cute. I thought it was like a little figure to put on your desk. Come on. Did she ever get you anything? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have too much trauma. I don't think so. This is important context. No, 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 no. I was blameless. I was completely blameless the whole time. Okay. I think we're out of Here ads. We we're done with ads, right? Mom wants right? to be for a faucet, not Kathy Bates. Okay. I, I have to mute Konos. <laughs> okay. Coney is the villain in this story. No. Coney is not the villain. And you'll see that in a moment, okay? I think chat's out of ads. All right. Back to work. By the way, can we get a prime? I haven't asked all night. I haven't even said anything. If you guys could drop a prime, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you. Act 2. Hell on Earth. I gave it to Atriarch. Mods! <laughs> How dare you? He's already rich. What the fuck? I lost my job. All right. It's now time for the most important part of the story. Act two. Hell on Earth. A bit of time has passed, okay? I'm 17. I'm still online. I'm still on AOL Instant Messenger. I think. I'm pretty sure this was around that time. I'm listening to Jimmy Eat World. You know, I've grown up a little bit. Out of the blue one day, I'm just sitting around, minding my own business, surfing the internet. Who do I get a message from? Pam. Huh. And she seems different. Hmm. That's five whys. Even at 17, I knew what that meant. Okay. I remembered how she broke my heart and how I felt. So I messaged back what <laughs> I didn't give up that easily but then she said this Just a man. <laughs> I am, I am, I am simply a man, okay? I am only a human man who succumbs to dark temptations. We message back and forth. We start talking about the trip, lol, yeah, sorry I was so mean, blah, blah, blah. I didn't know what I was doing. I just, I was awkward. You know, and we both sort of, um, we both sort of agree that we're different people now. And we would love to meet back up, right? Just, just a, a meetup, a friendly meetup, you know what I mean? Just to catch back up, because we've been friends for so long at this point. And, uh, you know, we didn't say anything was going to happen. But I was, you know. And now I can drive. In fact... I can take this lovely new truck my dad just got me. Okay? I love driving. 
love driving. One of my favorite things to do. So I said, okay, you know what? I think I'm going to make that trip. I think I'm going to drive all the way up from Maryland to Massachusetts. Now, we had an issue here. Um, I was a latchkey kid. Uh, I, I didn't have a much adult or parent supervision. Um, but I couldn't just go to Massachusetts for a week, right? Oh, shit, it's still football. Oh, God. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy shit. Thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. So I had a problem here, okay? Because I, 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 I was a latchkey kid. I didn't have much adult or parental supervision. I kind of did my own thing. But I couldn't just disappear for a week. You know what I mean? So I had to come up with a plan. So I told my mom that I'd be gone for a week. And my mom was like, okay. <laughs> My mom, my mom didn't really, uh, my mom trusts me a lot. She was like, okay, whatever. It's fine. Really? Yeah, my mom is very trusty. She's, my, I was, I was kind of, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to say mature for my age, right? It's stupid. But I was very, you know, I, I was like, I'm going to be gone for a little while. And she was like, okay. I'm, it was summer. I think I was between uh, junior and, and senior year of high school or something. I was like, fine, whatever. I'll go. She was like, okay. My dad, however, was not as easy to convince because I'm taking his truck up there. So I had to talk to him. My dad is being played by Oscar award-winning actor Robert De Niro. Everybody, give it up for my dad. Now, what contrivance can I come up with? What scheme, what caprice would, uh, would fool my oafish father into thinking that I was gone for a week for good reason? Thought about it a bunch. Couldn't really come up with anything. I, I think I probably could have just told him I was trying to go up there to get laid. You know, whatever. But I, I wanted to come up with something. I told him, hey, my friend's family is going on a trip. And I would like to go with them. They are going to a theme park. I didn't once say what theme park it was or where it was located. I straight up told my dad, I'm going to go to a theme park. And he was like, okay, why can't they drive with you? And I said, uh, because I'm going to leave early. They're going to stay for two weeks. I'm only staying for like one week or maybe a, a few less days. So I'm going to go up on my own so that they can stay. My dad is like, that sounds silly. That's a seven-hour drive. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but what are you going to do? <laughs> and my dad's like, it is what it is. <laughs> he says that a lot. White dads, you know? <laughs> and so he's, he gives me his blessing. And with that, I'm on my way. To Massachusetts. Massachusetts again. Now, I get to Massachusetts, and uh, things are pretty normal. I meet Pam. Not at the train station. I don't remember where I met her. It was somewhere. And so we meet up, and we start talking. And everything's great, actually. She's awesome. She's funny, as I remember her. Uh, she's really smart. I should have said all this before, like, <laughs> the things that are good about her. She's pretty, she's funny, she's smart. She's on my wavelength, right? She's really cool. I like I like Pam a lot. I should have said this, like, at the beginning. <laughs> I've just painted only the bad parts. She's great, okay? So Pam and I meet up, and we go, you know, we're talking and hanging out, and we said, hey, let's go to a really fancy restaurant. Let's go somewhere really nice. And so, where do you go when you want to go somewhere really fancy and nice when you're 17? That's right. Olive Garden. If you didn't say Olive Garden, you're lying. We went to Olive Garden. Did you know they have unlimited pasta and breadsticks? 
You can have as much salad as you want. Delicious. We're talking. So how have things been? Oh, pretty good. You know, school's going the same. I'm about to graduate. Oh my god, that's so cool. I think she was like a, a class younger, or in a class ahead of me. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that's so great. Blah, blah, blah. And so we're talking. We're having a good time. Um, but then we're coming to the end of the meal and we're vibing, right? Everything's good. Pam says, hey, uh, listen, I hope you don't mind, but my friend is coming by. He's going to join us for a bit. And I'm like, oh, cool. Okay, sick. Great. Can't wait to meet your friend. She intercepts me. She said, it's not a boyfriend which is, I think, what a lot of you guys in chat thought. It's not a boyfriend. He's gay. Oh, okay. Sure. I didn't need to know that, but thank you for your transparency. And so, her friend shows up to Olive Garden. Her friend... I think I have his actual name here. I don't remember what his name was, but I now that I'm looking at it again, I think that's it. Let's call him... Ted. <laughs> Ted arrives. Ted is being played by uh, noted actor Sean Hayes. Here's Ted. His name is Fred. No, it's not. <laughs> His name is not Fred. Fred shows up. Now, Fred shows up and he sits with us at Olive Garden and we start talking and within five sentences I come to realize I really don't like Ted I really don't like him he's annoying the hell out of me he's ignoring me most of the time he's only talking to Tiff, uh, to, to Pam too many names he's only talking to Pam he doesn't involve me in the conversation they have all their own little inside jokes that I don't know about and he's like making snide comments about my my clothes and shit he's just like being very catty and I'm like dude what's going on here what's wrong Ted and so Ted and I you know not really butt heads but I'm like oh this guy's kind of annoying me but I'm like okay he'll only hang out for a little bit Ted didn't only hang out for a little bit. We go back to Pam's house. Ted is there. We go to the Boston Aquarium. Ted is there. We go back to the Friendlies, where I inherited scar tissue that would affect me for the rest of my life. The Friendlies, where I took on emotional trauma that would stop me from trusting women well into my 20s. Ted is still there. For some reason, by the way, I don't know why this is, New England loves friendlies. Or at least these guys did. I don't know why. Friendlies was so popular. <laughs> we do? I don't know. It's something about friendlies and, and Dunkin' Donuts. Friendly's at Dunkin' Donuts. It's like a New England thing. Not anymore. They're closing. Good. Can't go to Friendly's without sobbing. I think a lot of them broke, like, shut down. I used to have one near my house. It's gone now. Never heard of it? You never heard of Friendly's? They're good, though. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a smaller Applebee's. It's like if your grandma thought of Applebee's and made an Applebee's. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like your grandma independently came up with the idea of Applebee's on her own. It's just microwave food. Anyway. We go to Friendly's. And this fucking tech guy won't leave us alone. Eventually, we've gone everywhere. And the night ends with us going back... And, and this is this is legitimately one of the most humiliating moments of my life. 
the night ends with us going back to Sam's house, I think, or maybe it was Ted's house, I don't remember, but I do remember watching Team America World Police and watching as they played Super Mario Brothers 3 together without me while I just watched. Pam, 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 Pam. <laughs> Pam and Ted just played Mario Brothers 3. At one point in the night, I'm burying my head under pillows trying to sleep because I had a very long day getting to Massachusetts. And all I could hear was this. <laughs> alone with me for more than 15 minutes. All I want is one night. Ted, please leave. Please stop playing Super Mario Bros. 3. Please get out of the house. They watched Team America World Police and played this. While I, I laid, like, they they were sitting on the bed, and I'm sitting on, like, an air mattress under the bed. <laughs> I'm not talking. They're like, hey, do you want to play a level? I'm like, no, I don't want to play a level. <laughs> it's, it's really fun. This next level's great. No, thank you. I'm tired. <laughs> Are you mad? No, I'm just sleepy. <laughs> I was furious. Where's my head? It's under the pillows. I'm desperately trying to block out uh, the, the, the heinous acts that are happening only 300 feathers away. <laughs> my head, I'm, I'm like an ostrich. I just don't want to look at what's happening. I'm miserable. This is, to this point, the worst day of my life. Please, for the love of God, Ted, leave us alone. And, uh, anyway, they play Mario 3 until about 1 a.m. And I said, oh boy, time to go home. Pam and I go home. <laughs> and then, <laughs> she drops a bombshell on me. Hey, uh, Zach, I don't know how to tell you this. My parents don't know that you're here, and I don't know where to put you. Can you sleep out in your car? I spent the night in my truck. <laughs> I had nowhere else to go. Were you cold? I think it was like May or June. I don't know. School had just let out for the year. I'm sleeping out in the truck, okay? Very uncomfortable. By the way, you guys saw the truck. This doesn't have a back seat, and I can't recline. So I'm, like, laying out, okay, as much as I can. Miserable, right? And knowing that I'm going to have to keep enduring this shit. But, you know what? It'll, it'll, it'll all be worth it. I drove seven hours for this. I, I, I'm, I'm going to see it through. You know, her and I will spend some time together. We'll connect, and maybe something nice will happen. I don't know. Legitimately, I'm not looking to get laid explicitly. I'm really not. I'm not just looking for that. I'm looking to connect with somebody who I really liked. You know? That was a big deal to me. I'm serious. You guys think I'm memeing. I'm not. I, I, liked the, I liked Pam a lot. We had a real connection. I thought back when I was 16. I was serious. I really thought that we were...
we're going to, you know, talk and, and, and connect and and, talk and and learn about each other and just even if nothing, well, something was going to happen. But, I, you know, even if something happens, it's like we go our separate ways and then we remain friends, right? I wanted something to happen, but, you know, I didn't want it to be, uh, I, I wanted to be friends. You know what I mean? I, I, I wanted us to be friends and, and, and be close. Um, so I'm sleeping in my truck, and uh, I'm I'm kind of miserable. And then <laughs> I am awakened by a sound. I ignore it. I continue to doze off. Whatever. I, it's probably, you know, just somebody down the road or whatever. They're responding to an emergency or something. I don't care. Who gives a shit, right? I sleep. That is, until I hear the sirens get closer. And closer. Until they're seemingly right next to me. Then I hear a knock on the window. Hey! Can you roll down the window for me? If you think it's bad when I hit the mic, imagine how I felt. Hello, sir. Can you please roll down your window? I roll down my window. What seems to be the problem, officer? Uh, yeah, we got a couple of ca uh, calls about a vagrant sleeping in his car on this road. Uh, you got some place to be, sir? And I, I, uh, bless my young heart, I told him the whole story. I was 17, and cops were the good guys. <laughs> cops did nothing wrong when I was 17 years old. Cops are the good guys. They're the authorities. You have to be honest with the cops. I had never had a bad experience with a cop to this point. I got pulled over a few times. They let me go. Wonder why. <laughs> I guess I'm just a silver-tongued devil. So I tell him why I'm there. I'm like, hey, uh, I'm here. My girlfriend is inside. Maybe I wasn't completely honest. My girlfriend is inside. I'm just sleeping out here because she locked her door. I think I said she locked her door or something. He's like, and and I, I like, you know, I talk with him. I'm 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 well spoken. I'm eloquent. I have registration. Everything. Like I I don't seem like I'm a crackhead, right? And I guess that's good enough for him. He's like, you better not be here tomorrow. And I'm like, I won't be. Now. I, I was lying to him. I thought I would be. I thought I was staying a couple days. Um, but he leaves. And then I start thinking to myself. As I'm dozing off, I'm like, you know what? I don't deserve this. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Wait a minute. Somebody said, is sleeping in your car legal? In Massachusetts, I guess. <laughs> it's a white state. I don't remember where Pam lived, but I assume it was somewhere nice. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't deserve to be treated like this. I'm going to go home. I'm not going to stay here and be disrespected. I drove seven hours to meet Pam, and she can't even give us 30 minutes together alone? She won't even let me talk to her? What is this? Is she afraid of me? This is the same thing that happened to me when I came up here a year ago, two years ago, whatever it was. I don't deserve this. I'm going to leave tomorrow. And so I wake up the next day. And Pam comes out. She sees me. And, of course, Ted is fucking there. I feel like she didn't come out until Ted was there. Ted, can you please give us a, a fucking second? Yeah, okay. And Ted goes away, but not really. <laughs> Ted's like hiding behind a tree. How do I... <laughs> How do I make him hide? 
Ted's like not really gone. He there he is. He's being very sneaky. And I'm like, can you come over here? Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Hey, listen, uh, I drove a really long way, um, but clearly this just isn't working. We're not connecting. Like, I'm just not having a good time. I gotta go. What? Why? Uh, I think you know why. <laughs> you and I haven't talked at all. It was a full day of hanging out with Ted. You and I haven't spoken a, a hundred words to each other. What? That's not true. We played Mario together. Whatever. She's not listening. <sighs> I'm gonna go. Okay, fine. You should at least kiss me before you leave. No. You see, dear viewer, you might be wondering, where does this $5,000 cost come up? Well, <laughs> uh, I, I'm sad to say, things started going pretty poorly in Connecticut. I'm about a state down. And things are looking pretty grim. For you see, art keeps acting weird. It keeps like going slower or just not responding at all. Things are just getting a little strange, okay? I don't know exactly what's going on. Now, I didn't mention to you guys before, my dad is actually an auto mechanic, but he never taught me the intricacies of a car. My dad worked as a mechanic, but he never showed me anything about it. And I want you to see what I saw. This is, I'm pretty sure, the exact odometer that I had in my Toyota. It's not as fancy as the stuff you see today. See all this, a lot of like onboard HUDs, this is what's going on in the car, the tire pressure, the, the, the oil is running low, whatever. Okay? Something was happening. I knew the gas, gas was on F. Everything was fine. What's wrong? <laughs> and this is where the story gets, um, humiliating. <laughs> If it wasn't already, uh, this is where things go from bad to worse. My gas is full, but my car, for some reason, still is having these issues. What the hell? Why won't it go? It keeps stopping every, I don't know, 5 to 10 miles. It won't go above, like, 50 miles an hour on the highway. I'm in the left lane. Nobody told, taught me lane etiquette. It's weird, right? So, I, oh my god, I don't even know what I thought, I don't even know how to put this. This meter is acting very strange on the left, okay? It's going up to H. It should be in the middle. The left meter is going all the way up to H. I don't know what this little line is, but I'm pretty sure it's the oil. I don't know what these letters mean, but I think it's, I don't know, hot and cold, I guess? Um, half full and could be more? <laughs> like, like, it's not enough? I don't know. Is there enough oil? What's going on here? I don't know what to think, and my dad never taught me, despite being a mechanic. Now, dear viewer, one thing I should have mentioned, I left on a Sunday. I left at like, I don't know, 3 p.m. 
there are no auto repair shops open at 3 p.m. on a Sunday in Connecticut. This is a time kind of before cell phones, I think. I think you had some, but I didn't have many minutes. Maybe I was out of minutes. I don't remember. Things are bad. I'm on the highway. I'm desperately trying to find somebody that can save me. I am in dire straits, okay? This is one of the scariest moments of my life. Eventually, I come upon a Tiger Mart. If you don't know what this is, it's an Exxon, okay? And I'm like, okay, I don't know what to do. There are no repair shops open. I need to get home. Keep in mind, my dad thinks that I'm at a theme park. So if I get stranded here, I'm fucked. If my car stops working, what am I going to do? I go to the Exxon. Now, I have no idea what this odometer means, but to me, there are only two juices in a car. Gas and motor oil. I bought motor oil. <laughs> now, I'm making this sound pretty simple, but I want you to know, buying motor oil isn't quite that simple. There are millions of motor oils. Which one is for my car? I don't know. I asked the cashier. They don't know. They work at a gas station. Oh, God. Um, I guess I'll grab this one. I just grab a motor oil. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I use my last $15 to buy motor oil. Now, chat. I don't know why I thought it would fix things. I think motor oil is like a, it's like the antidote. Like I put it in the car and it'll just be fixed magically. I buy two motor oils. Now, chat. Pop quiz. This is what an old Toyota looks like. What I would like you to do is, one moment. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. You guys get to interact with this, okay? Is it here? Hold on. YouTube doesn't have to deal with this. For some reason, I don't know if it's here. Okay, it is. What? Okay, yeah, we got it. Chat, I would like you to click on the screen where the oil should go. Where do you think the oil goes? If you had to venture a guess. Where do you think the motor oil goes in the car? Hmm? <laughs> if you had to guess. Yeah? Some people are saying up here. Okay. I think that's the blinker. No, that's just it. I don't know what that is. Uh, some people are saying right here. No, but we'll get to that in a bit. I don't know what the difference between the red dipstick and the yellow dipstick is. I certainly didn't back then. I felt like I was, I was disarming a bomb. Oh, that's not blinker fluid? I thought it was on an old car, like it was a little tube. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. This is an old car, okay? Is this the blinker fluid right here? <laughs> I think that's it. I still don't know. Mysteries of a vehicle. Oh, blinker fluid. Whoops. <laughs> I meant I meant windshield fluid. <laughs> a little blinker fluid to make sure the lights go on and off correctly. Yeah. Little hamster in there turning it on and off. Have to motivate him with a little bit of juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You know what I mean. 
I didn't. I, I thought it was windshield wiper fluid. Okay, many of you guys are saying here and here. Um, I think you guys got it right. Truth is, I still don't fucking know. I still am not 100% sure where it goes in this car. I think it's here. I do think it's here, and I think that's the dipstick. And you check the oil with it. All right? <laughs> I think that's it. So what I do is I uncap this, and I pour two motor oils into my car. Hold on. Drink up, car! Glug, 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 glug. My car drinks both motor oils like a champ. <laughs> Delicious. So, I think... All is well. And I get back on the highway. Again, this is all 100% true. This all happened to me. I get back on the highway. Kony, you were cell phoneless, right? I don't remember what a cell phone was like in this time. It was 2004, 2005. I think it was like one of those flip phones. I don't know. Um, but I, I, I think there was no data on it. You couldn't look up websites. You couldn't look up anything. You, you only had calls. I think. Brick flip phones. Hold on. Let me find an image. I should have put this in the thing. Forgive me for not doing this. I think I had one of these, like old Nokia flip phones, like that. You couldn't look up websites, okay? It was like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like this. So I, it's not like I can find out what to do with a car, what to do when the meter says H. <laughs> what does H mean? And my dad, who is a mechanic, I can't call him and tell him that my car's fucked up. I'm scared. Terrified. Coney, I'm 32, and yeah, I had a brick phone. You didn't have service. Absolutely no websites. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it was. It was. You guys don't know what it was like to live in this world. Anyway, I am back on the highway, and things are going from bad to worse. My car, in addition to like start like doing this, it's now. Bouncing a little bit? I am still, remember, like, six hours from home. Five or six hours from home. It got to the point, and I'm not kidding about this. I will never forget this. A group of people in a car drove past me and looked back. There was a guy in a car who went like this. POV, you're the car. Something was happening under my hood. I couldn't see it. I'm in the left lane, by the way. The passing lane. Okay? And so, they drive off. Clearly the right decision. They're gone. Because they know disaster is about to strike. And they were right. About 15 minutes later, I hear a... <laughs> and I see... This. My car hood had blown up in my face. I am in the left lane of a six-lane highway. There is no shoulder on the left. And I can't see a fucking thing. My windows are down, and green juice is spilling out of my car. What the fuck is that? Is my car bleeding? I have never seen that before. 
My car is spilling juice I've never seen. It looks like Kool-Aid. It, it, some of it gets on my lip because my window was down and it actually tasted kind of good. Chat, I will tell you what this was in a moment. <laughs> but I remember tasting it and thinking, hmm, that's kind of sweet. But there were more pressing matters because I was about to fucking die. This is me on the fucking highway in Connecticut. Oh God! Good luck everybody! Look out! Get out of the way! Help! Oh God! I should have picked a better video for this. Look out! Oh God! The editor will find a better one. I can't get the fuck off the highway! I have to go from the left lane to the right lane. I am weaving in and out, swerving, like my life depends on it, because it most certainly fucking does. Ah! Anyway. I do, oh my god, what happened here? <laughs> Everything got fucked up. Okay. Just like this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this stream is so scary, I know. Eventually, I do make it to the side of the road. Okay. I made it to the shoulder. My car now won't do anything. My car literally will not turn on. It, it won't even sputter. Nothing is happening. I got to the side of the road. I told you that I got a little bit of this green juice on my lip, right? And I accidentally ate some of it. Dear viewer, this green juice is a concoction called antifreeze, as you could see here. This goes in your car to stop it from overheating. My car was overheating. My car, unbeknownst to me, was hotter than the sun right underneath that hood. And it got so hot that it exploded. The hood blew up. Please do not drink antifreeze. I would not recommend it. However, I, I will say antifreeze, at that time, at that time in our lives, I think they changed it, tasted sweet you think i'm kidding i'm not it tasted kind of good i was like huh that's weird <laughs> does antifreeze taste like gatorade the active ingredient in antifreeze is ethylene glycol which has a sweet taste it tastes like sugar mixed with salt and vinegar i will never forget that taste it is still on my lips I had a very small amount. Please do not drink antifreeze. I do not recommend it. However, I did, and I'm okay. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. I can't take I can't keep going with this bit. Kids are gonna watch this. Do not drink antifreeze. I think it tastes bad now anyway. The Cody challenge. Do not, do not, do not, do not. I'm too curious now. D dude, in the years after this story, I am curious too. I'm still curious, and it happened to me. But I tasted a bit of antifreeze. I'm on the side of the road. What the fuck am I going to do, you know? I, 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 my car won't start. Nothing will happen. My car literally won't move from the side of the road. Eventually, I don't remember exactly what happened. It's all kind of a, of a blur. Um... I think my phone might have died at this point. I don't remember. Phones didn't have batteries and we didn't have car chargers. I think I was shit out of luck. I sat out at my truck for about two hours. Eventually, it cooled down enough for me to drive it again. I drove it to the nearest hotel, which was like 
I don't know, maybe a mile out, and I was able to get there, okay? What is wrong with you? Guys, I didn't have a phone. I didn't have a phone. You don't understand how good you have it. I was stranded on the side of the fucking road. Why would you drive it again? What else was I going to do? I'm on the highway. I'm on the shoulder. I'm lost. Did you know at the time your car was overheating? That was antifreeze. No! I thought it was green car juice. I didn't know what the fuck that was. No pay phones? How am I going to find a pay phone? I'm on the fucking highway. I'm like a mile out. I should... Whatever. I'm getting in my car. I got back in my car. I drove about a mile. I might have had a cop help me. I don't remember. I think a cop... I think a cop helped me. I don't remember. I was so despondent. It was a disaster. I pulled up to, I think, a double tree. And uh, I, I charged my phone. And I called my dad. And I said, Dad... Um... I was coming home early from my friend's uh, uh, theme park trip, and uh, I, I need help. And my dad's like, you left after one day? I'm like, yeah. He said, you got there yesterday at like 4 p.m. Why are you now leaving and stuck in Connecticut at 6 p.m.? I said, I, I, uh, uh, the theme park it just sucked. The theme park, it, it wasn't cool. I didn't like the theme park. And my dad is like, okay. And so, my dad, down here in Maryland, has to drive five hours to come and pick me up from Connecticut. <sighs> he is angry. Remember, this was his truck. This was his bait. Whoops. This was his truck. This was his baby first. He souped it all up for me. Remember, I got this for Christmas, and this was like six months later. This was that summer, okay? This was his baby. And now he's up here in Connecticut trying to help me out. Now, at least my dad was a mechanic. So I thought to myself, hey, it's okay. He'll be able to fix this. He'll be able to make it work. I trust him. And so we somehow get the car, I'm sorry, the truck, into a corporate parking lot. And my dad starts putzing with it. Futzing with it? What's the word? He's messing with it, okay? He's trying to make it work. He's like changing levers and, and adjusting dials and going under the hood and doing all kinds of stuff. Oh, is it the carburetor? Is it the radiator? Blah, blah, blah. And then after, like, I don't know, 10 minutes, he's like, did this thing overheat? I'm like, what? <laughs> Can cars do that? I thought cars were, like, self-regulating. <laughs> I didn't know cars could get hot like that. And he's like, what happened? Exactly when everything blew up. I told him, oh, I was on the highway and I was driving and then the hood blew up and green juice went everywhere. <laughs> he said, green juice, huh? Yeah, 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 green juice. Zach, that's antifreeze. Well, it's delicious. <laughs> My dad tried for about three hours to get this car running. He's going, he, he's, he's driving it all around the lot. He's going this way. He's going that way. But unfortunately, it just won't stay on. The thing just, it, it's nothing's happening. It's just fucked up. 
He said, what did you do when it blew up? What? <laughs> the car didn't move. What did you do when it exploded? Oh, I got some motor oil. Why? It's car blood. Okay. What did you do with the motor oil? I poured it into the car. Two whole bottles. And I think at this point, my dad is starting to have some, like, it, he's realizing it's his fault. Which it is, right? I can't be blamed for this. I was 17. I don't know how to operate a car. He gave me a car and didn't teach me how to use it. And he was a mechanic, by the way. I think this falls on him more than anyone. So I think he's starting to come to the decision that he realizes uh, we're not going to get this car out of Connecticut. So eventually, we take off the license plates. We get out the stereo system, get rid of everything we can. And my dad and I drive away from Connecticut, leaving the truck in the parking lot. This was a $5,000 Toyota pickup vehicle that we had to leave because someone, and I, I don't know who, you know, I think it's shared blame. My, either me or my dad, you know, my dad indirectly, uh, caused this car to lose its life prematurely. However, dear viewer, there is a happy ending to this story. For you see, that truck was never claimed. That truck is still out there. Somewhere in the wilds of a co Connecticut corporate parking lot. That car can still be found by you. I challenge you, drive to Connecticut and pick up the $5,000 car. I hope you can find it. Please send me a photo when you do. That is the story of the $5,000 booty call. Thank you all for joining me this evening. I appreciate you all listening to my very long, dumbass story. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Oh. It's somewhere out there. It's somewhere out there for you to claim. Go out there and find it. I have no idea where it is. I don't remember where we were or what happened. But that Toyota pickup can still be found by you. Alright. I had to I, I had to pop because ads are about to pop. I wanted to make sure everybody got their chance. Oh. It is so cathartic to tell this whole story. It definitely got scrapped. Dude, it was like in the parking lot of a fucking... It was like a health insurance company. It was some corporation. I don't know. Go ahead and go find it. I don't know. Google Earth it? Somewhere in Connecticut? Dude, that would have been a good ending. If I found a fucking... If I found a fucking... A, a, a car somewhere in a fucking parking lot. I can't believe this is how you know what antifreeze tastes like. Dude, it was yummy. Don't do it or anything, but seriously, it was tasty. It was delicious. <laughs> it was so good. I'm so happy to get it all out there and to tell the whole story. It's a long story, and it, it, there's a big, there's a lot of pieces to it, but I love that story. Is there an epilogue? I never saw Pam again. I've never talked to Pam again. I think she's living her own life. Oh, obviously. I, I wish her nothing but the best. I'm sure she's very sweet. There are only three double tea trees in Connecticut? It was either a double tree or like a, something in in sweets. I don't know. Something like that. It was, it was, uh...
It was quite, quite a tale. Moral of the story, drink antifreeze. That was not, that, I literally said not to do that. Don't twist my words. By the way, I don't, I, please, the reason that I said please don't harass anybody, we were all like 16, 15, 17, like, come on. Everybody's different when they're that young. People are different, you know what I mean? You grow up, you want different things out of life. What if Pam is watching this story right now? We know she's not. She is not in gaming at all. Tony, I will drink antifreeze now. You know what? I've I've put out a disclaimer so much that I, I can't I can't help you anymore. <laughs> At this point, I can't if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it anyway. I've told you not to do it. I think she's still friends with Ted, but I don't know. Pam is a very sweet girl. She was just, you know, 16 at a time. She got in a long-term e-relationship with somebody, and she was like, this sucks. I want a boyfriend. <laughs> Which, like, obviously, right? We get it. You understand. Was Ted really gay? Yes, Ted was really honestly gay. Wait, what was the second game? Mario Kart. <laughs> we talked about Mario Kart and Mario 3. Have you talked to her since? No, we've never spoken since that day. We haven't spoken once since that day. Oh, DDR was in. No, pump it up, pump it up. And Pokemon, kind of. There are a lot of video games. There you go. Did you ever find out why she brought the gay friend? No! I don't know why she did that. I think she, like... I think she was, like, scared to be a Like, she was nervous or something? I don't know. Will you speak to Pam again? No! She's living her own life now. That was half of our lifetimes ago. It's a different world. It's different. When you were in the arcade for three hours, what was she doing? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know what happened. Who knows? What would you do if she hits you up soon? Laugh about this whole story with her. She's an adult now. I'm an adult. We're at different points of our lives, okay? So this is a very long, intricate story that I've wanted to tell forever. Probably, I wish I had a better ending. You know what I mean? By the way, ads are about to end. Or ads are about to start. So just so you know, be ready. Soon. I wish I had a better ending. But I really don't know what happened after that. We left the fucking car there. It's somewhere in Connecticut. Or it got scrapped or towed. I don't know. <laughs> Did you ever tell your parents the truth? Eventually. Eventually I told them the truth and they didn't care. You actually accidentally made a One Piece ending so that weebs will feast? Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Accidentally, you say. This is a DM I had with Alpha Rad shortly before the stream. I decided against it. I thought about it. I considered it, and I was like, eh. I probably should have. Do it anyway? <laughs> okay, editor, just put in a One Piece thing. Probably would have been a better ending. Let me see. My truck is still out there. If you can find it, it's yours. <laughs> oh, that might have been good. I should have done it that way. Play the beginning part, it also works. Fame, power. Gold Roger, the king of the pirates, attained <laughs> this and everything else the world had to offer. Re-record it. Okay, you guys have to promise that you won't tell that this is the second recording, okay? <laughs> you guys want to re-record the ending? Okay. We're going to edit it here. All right. Promise not to tell. Where do I start the song? Like here? Because YouTube loves anime. This will be great. Great 
pirate era. Where do I start? Oh, I'll start it there. Come aboard. I'm known as the great pirate era. All right, I'm going to start it right there. All right, here we go. I'm going to retell it. You have to do the start? Dude, the start is 30 seconds of bullshit. You can't. Well, you guys don't have a brain for content. It has to talk. Power. Gold Roger, the king of the pirates, attained this and everything else the world had to offer. It can't. It doesn't. Words this doesn't make sense. To the seas. You want my treasure? You can have it. I left everything I got. Oh, I didn't know he said that in the intro. Wait a minute. Countless souls to the seas. You want... <laughs> All right, we're going to go. We'll start from there, okay? All right, we're going to start from there. We'll start from there. All right, hold on. Wait, let me hear it. You want my treasure? You can have it. I left everything I gathered together in one place. Now you just have to find it. Oh, that's These perfect. These words lured men to the grand line and pursuit of dreams greater than they'd ever... You Use the instrumental? Yeah, but then I don't get the, 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 the line. Then I, I don't get the line that's so important, you know? You say the line. I don't, I'm not going to remember the line. <laughs> oh, wait, hot swap. Yeah, editor can do it. I'm going to leave the line in. Hold on. Treasure, you can have it. Wait. I left everything I gathered together in one place. Now you just have to find it. You want my truck? You can have it. I left everything. You just everything I gathered together in one place. I left my whole truck together in one pl in one place in Connecticut. Now you just have to find it. Now you just have to find it. <laughs> Perfect. Just type it out. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're content workshopping. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> the truck is real. Okay. Now I'm place. Three. Left everything I have it. Sir, you can have it. Wait. Okay. I left everything I gathered together in one place. Now you just have to find it. Got it. These words lured men. All right, all right, all right. We're reopening. We're reopening. Here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? Okay. One piece opening, one instrumental. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing this like the editor can't fix it. Okay, how does it go? Okay, it goes... Dun, 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 dun. I don't know the fucking intro! I'm not going to be able to do this. All right, let's try it, let's try it. The, the intro st ends at 20 seconds. Okay. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this like the editor can't fucking do it. Okay, here we go, here we go. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. All right, hold, 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 okay? We're gonna recut the intro. Ready? Don't give it away. Here we go. And we left my truck somewhere in some, I don't know, corporate parking lot in Connecticut. But dear viewers, there's a good ending to this story. For you see, that truck is still out there. You want my truck? You can have it! I left everything I drove in one place in Connecticut. Now, you just have to find it! The truck is real! Hey. Perfect, perfect. The 94 Toyota pickup is real! Excellent. By the way, I, I looked up the One Piece is real for this, and I didn't know that this fucking guy is the meme. Why is Howard Hamlin here? Why did we get him to do that? The One Piece! What the fuck? Why did he do it? The One Piece is real! 
<laughs> Why did he do that? Fiverr? Okay. All right. Fun. Because he was told it's real? Somebody told him that? He was like, oh, hell yeah. Popped off. Okay. All right, everybody. Uh, what a time is it? 10 o'clock? I think we're going to go to bed. I think it's bedtime. I know, I know. Usually I'm done at 11. Usually I stay up a little bit more. But we'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I didn't even watch the Mario movie thing. We'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Mario movie tomorrow. Mario movie tomorrow, okay? Mario movie and all kinds of other stuff. I hope the $5,000 booty call lived up to the hype. I, it, it was, I, I, it's one of those things that it will never live up in my mind to how good I could have made it. But it is the craziest fucking thing that ever happened to me. It has never happened to me. I, I, I've never told it like that. There's so much to it. Okay. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. We'll do Mario. Oh, let's go do Vine Sauce, dude. We're trying to play Fortnite sometime together soon again. All right, we're going to go watch Vine Sauce. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, Super Mario. And, uh, oh, tomorrow I'm, I'm, I'm going, it's the Coney Game Awards. When is next React Wars? Uh, Sunday. Coney Game Awards are tomorrow. Every game I played this year. If you want to influence my ratings, tomorrow is the day to do it. All right, I uh, will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.